Hello friends, uh, today's video I'm going to show you a new project I've just finished and uh, so as you can see here on the right, right side of my screen so it's a web application for live system so basically uh, you can use this tool as a, a lightweight uh, live system for your small business okay so here Mm, we have a login uh, interface here. Uh, it's going to validate your email and uh, password uh, in our database. So it's a spreadsheet as a database for this application. All right. And let me show you. So let's first try to log in account. I just used for test. So test at gmail.com. So this is just a test email address. Password is one two three four five six. So let's try to log in. All right. So once you log in, and uh, you here have uh, so I'm going to have a great information for like this. So here you can choose your uh, leave type. Here let's say birthday. So uh, it's my birthday. Tomorrow. All right. So you can pick a date here. So September, September. Today is fifth. So let's try to six, six, and uh, submit. All right. So once you submit it, you should be able to have a new record added in this spreadsheet and named leave. Okay, all the information like the leave type, uh, leave rhythm, uh, from date, and end date. Also your email, uh, email address for this record. All right, so let's close this one and then log out. So you also can create a new account here. So let's try to create a new account. So once you create a new account, the account information will be added here in this sheet named user so let's try to add a new user so create a new account so let's uh, give a test email address test uh, maybe yahoo.com and the first name also call it a test and last name fbi password let's also try to set it to one two three four five six Confirm the password. So basically, this form have a validation. Okay, if you try to submit this inf uh, information, so get this error message like confirm password can be empty, and you have to do it like this. So password not match means that uh, the password you enter here and as a confirm password, both passwords does not match. All right, so once everything looks looks fine, we should be able to create a new account. All right, so here, as you can see, we got just got the new email, and uh, here we have the first name and the last name, and uh, you'll be able to, and uh, it's directly logged in. So as you can see here, we are we've already logged in and uh, you can be able to submit your uh, leave request so let's try to do another one and seek today from day let's try to pick uh, today and uh, submit right it's success so now you have this information here and also you can change your password here so let's try to change the password to another uh, for the email address i just created so test at yahoo.com old password must be one two three four five six new password let's do one two three and one two three so we also have validation for this form so if you 
maybe you put a wrong email, a uh, wrong uh, current password here. You try to change the password. So it's going to bring you this error message like a wrong password. All right, let's do this. I will try to convert the password one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, we can try to change it. All right, now the password have been changed to the new one. So let's close this one, try to re-log. And uh, the email address I should use test at yahoo.com password, new password, one, two, three. Let's, let's try to use the old, old one. And the login, all right, wrong password. And uh, we can try to use our new password here, one, two, three. Okay, so we did it successfully. And uh, we also can log out here. So basically, uh, that's all the features in this uh, application. And uh, there are some bugs there. And uh, basically, this is for practice. And uh, just show you the idea and how to do it in the app script. All right, so if you're interested, and uh, you can make a copy of my project to your Google Drive, and you can use it directly. And also you can do some modification. So let me show you how to do some modification in the code and how to make a copy of my file of my project. All right. So I'm going to share a file with you, and you can make a copy of it. So you just go to file and then make a copy to your Google Drive. All right. So let's make a copy of this project and uh, rename it for for YouTube. Okay. So let's do this one. So let's close this one and also close the old one. All right. Still working, it's kind of slow. So once you copy my file to your Google Drive, and first thing you need to do, you need to go to the Tools Script Editor. So first thing, first thing you need to do is uh, deploy this uh, project as a web web application. Okay, so let's try to publish and deploy as web app. All right, this is pretty slow. Okay, so this is for, so first for the first time, this whole uh, project version is new, and uh, here you can choose the access. So for this one, I'd like to choose uh, anyone and uh, update. So uh, for the first time, we're going to ask you for the authorization. So just like all the Google script, uh, just a normal process. So choose your account and uh, wait. All right, so advanced. Hello. So the only API we are using this uh, is just Google Apps Script. It's just for spreadsheet. All right. So once you deploy this as a web app, it should have a URL like this. So you copy this URL, and uh, you should be able to uh, visit in your browser. All right. So now everything looks fine here. And this is your web application, and uh, this is your spreadsheet here. So you need to remove all this old data, so it's from my file. And for the users, we shouldn't uh, shouldn't have any users in this uh, in this file. So let's try to create a new uh, account here. 
All right, so let's do email address like uh, test at gmail. And for the first name, let's say Ashton. Last name F E I F A, and password one two three four five six. One two three four five six. So let's try to assign this in. To okay, so now uh, I have a. Uh, uh, new users here. So here, so this test is from the email address. I didn't uh, choose the first name. So it should be a better idea to use the name here. So this, this, this can be done in the script, but anyway, you can change it in the code. Okay, so you can do a lot of customization. So let's try to submit a uh, leave here. So let's do annual leave for the leave reason. And I need some days for for what? So I don't know for what. Okay. So let's pick a start day. 16 looks good. And uh, maybe for the whole week. So let's try to submit. All right, so we should have a request here. So this is the first request. So basically, you can uh, 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 more features in this project like a send email. Once you submit, once your submission is successful, and you can send an email to your manager just like that, and send an email to your backup just like that. So you can do a lot of more. Here and we can log out here. All right. So basically, it's working. And let let go to the script, and uh, I will get I will give you a very quick uh, view of the code. So I'm going to explain the basic structure of this uh, project here. All right. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, five files here. So for the first one, this my this main .js. And uh, it's all the app script in this uh, project. So it's basically all the code which is going to communicate with your spreadsheet. Uh, you have to put them in this uh, main.js file. All right. So like the valid validate the email and the password. And uh, for add new leave, so it's going to uh, append rows to the to the sheet name leave and also we can append the new users to this uh, to this users sheet also we have a test function we can get rid of it all right so for the index.html file is uh, is the main uh, html file which is going to hold all this uh, these forms in in this web application okay like the like the form uh, login form, and there's a new account form, and uh, the change password form, and for the new leave form. So all these forms are holding this HTML file. All right. So for the next one, uh, maybe the first one is this CSS.html file. All right, all the styling are included in this uh, CSS file. You can see a lot of classes, and you can see a lot of uh, just CSS code here. So if you need to change the color, the font, so the just the UI, the appearance of this uh, application, you can do some modification here. So, all right. So for this one. This .js, so JavaScript.html. This is uh, major stuff in this project. Okay, so all this functionality, all these features are included in the JavaScript. So a lot of things here, and uh, you can try to do some uh, modification here. All right. So basically, all the validations. Uh, how you click the button, how to control this uh, 
form views, all of these are included in this uh, JSTOF HTML file. All right. Mm. And the last one, uh, it's just a personal font. So if you try to, uh, let's try to visit a page like, uh, so page home. All right, it should bring, bring, it bring us to a page node font, just like this. All right, so let's back go back to the the main page here. All right, so basically uh, that's all for today's video, I think. And uh, I didn't uh, spend a lot of time to explain this code to you in this project because. Uh, it's going to cost you uh, some time to uh, to build uh, to build this project. So, if you are interested and uh, you think this could help you, and uh, you can try to use this project. And uh, I know uh, there might be some issues there because I already noticed some issues because uh, the, the all the logic uh, I cannot uh, I cannot cover all, all of them so if you try to uh, let me let me uh, make an example here if you try to create a new account so if, let's say uh, if you are already have a account here in your database you should not be able to create this uh, new account with the same email address I didn't do a validation for this so if you try to do this again, you should be able to do it. Uh, so let's try to do it with another password. So we still can do this. So this is uh, absolutely, this is, uh, it should, should not be working like this, all right? So this is something I just realized. So you can change it in the code, okay? So if you find any more bugs like this, you can let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.